So does anyone remember Oliver age 24? Or should I say Oliver age 30? Because technically he's actually 30 now. He's got around 150,000 subscribers and well he's an interesting YouTuber, I guess you could say. So if you don't know who he is and this is the first time you're hearing about him, well then you're about to find out about the YouTuber Oliver age 24. Alright, so Oliver created his channel on February 12th, 2013. And well, he was 24 at the time, so yeah. But yeah, he uploaded his first video on the same day that he created this channel, and it was a tutorial on how to draw Spider-Man really good. Jeez, with the thick pickup trucks. But yeah, it was a tutorial about how to draw Spider-Man really good. And I'm saying that with quotation marks. So yeah, basically he was an art channel essentially, but the thing about him is that he's done it differently than most other art channels on YouTube. You see, most art channels, such as Draw With Jazza, strive to make good art, and while art is subjective, Oliver's art style is interesting to say the least. I mean, say what you will, but to be fair, it's a pretty recognizable style, I guess. Or maybe everybody just draws like that when they draw poorly, I don't know. But either way, you can kind of recognize that, oh yeah, that's Oliver's style. I don't know if he actually draws like this or if he's just drawing poorly on purpose, perhaps both. But he basically decided to make a professional art tutorial channel, but wait, he draws super weird and claims it's professional. But yeah, what he'll do is he'll use 3D colors or drawing techniques or professional art terms and stuff like that. And then what he'll do is he'll write his name and age on each piece, kind of like when you were a kid and would draw like a sunflower on a field on a sunny day, and then you'll write your name and age as a signature, and to show how old you were and how much you've improved since then. So yeah, Oliver being that he was 24 decided to call his channel Oliver Age 24. And that is essentially the premise of his channel. But after he draws something, he'll usually show his students' art. In the first video was Neef, and I think in a lot of the videos it's Neef, but it's probably not in every single video. It's just most of uh, just the few I've seen. But he'll always show a previous student's art, and he'll critique it. And usually Neef's drawing, or whoever's drawing it is, will look better artistically, although it will still usually look weird in terms of content. And then Oliver will point out how he didn't correctly follow the tutorial, and that it doesn't look as good, and that he's done all this stuff wrong. So yeah. And well, basically, that's Oliver's art tutorials in a nutshell. But wait, we're not done yet. Now on top of making art tutorials, he also made music related videos, including some music tutorials, which are similar in style to his art videos, and he's also made some actual songs. And to be honest, his songs are actually pretty good. His most popular song, which is also his most popular video overall, is his song I Am Potato, a song and video that he made using fan submitted lyrics on Twitter and fan submitted drawings as visuals. And you know what, I've got to say that the song and the beat is actually pretty good and catchy and has some pretty funny and creative lyrics too. He also did another one of these Twitter reply songs with the song You're a Sausage. Yeah, most of his songs are pretty strange in terms of lyrics and subject matter, but not in a bad way. Also, I must say that his singing is actually pretty good. He seems to be genuinely talented in terms of singing. As for the instrumentals, I'm not entirely sure if he produced them himself or if he hired someone else to do them, but either way, they're still pretty good too. You know how most YouTuber songs are usually considered bad, like Rice Gums or Jake Paul songs? Well, Oliver is one of those YouTubers who actually makes good music, and it kind of reminds me of someone like Tobuscus and his music. I mean, most YouTubers will just make these dumb rap songs like Jake Paul's It's Every Day, Bro, or As He Lands Money, or Tanner Fox's We Do It Best, or pretty much anyone else. Oliver, on the other hand, makes more pop or electronic styled music, and I guess everyone has their taste in music, but Oliver's music is pretty well received. But some of his songs don't have too many views, like his Apple Watch rap, which only has 44,000 views as of now.
Let's move on to the next topic, which is of course his involvement with Mondo Media. Now Mondo Media is an animation channel with over 4 million subscribers who are best known for their adult animated cartoon series, most notably Happy Tree Friends, as well as Dick Figures, Deep Space 69, and many more. So all of us had pretty much all of his songs uploaded to Mondo, although they got less views than they did on his actual channel. He also appeared on the channel for a couple of art tutorials, like the video on how to design good t-shirts, and his video on how to draw cuddles from Happy Tree Friends. He also made a video about an art contest as well. And finally, he had his character, Really Good Unicornius, appear briefly in the background of the episode Pet Peeve from Happy Tree Friends, because he won an art contest to have his character featured. Also, he was shouted out by PewDiePie at one point, in fact, it was the same video that Jacksepticeye was also shouted out in, and a few others like Mess Yourself. Oliver, 20, <laughs> age 24, he, he shows us how to draw really, really good. He already has a lot of subscribers. I, I mean, if I were this good at drawing, I would be uh, making the same channel, probably, but I'm not. He also did a video on the Gaming Lemons channel about how to draw the Gaming Lemon, which was actually how I found Oliver's channel in the first place. He also did a collab on Boina Band's channel as well, and he probably did some on other people's channels too, but those are probably the most notable ones that I could find. So yeah, on to the next part of the video. We'll prove them Now on to the final part of the video. What happened? Well, to put it simply, his channel died and he lost relevance. To be fair, he was never really all that big to begin with, but his sub count has been around the same amount for the last three years, bouncing up and down between 147,000 and 151,000, and he is currently losing subscribers. So I'm guessing his channel died pretty quickly, just as it grew pretty quickly as well. I mean, the guy hit 100k only like 13 months after creating his channel, and considering he only has 149,000 now, it seems that his channel has hasn't really grown since 2014. And looking through his channel, a lot of his videos struggle to even get 10,000 views and a lot of them get under 10,000 views, whereas some get over 50,000 views, so his videos are pretty much hit or miss. No, not that kind of hit or miss. But to be fair, a lot of his videos have under 100,000 views. In fact, only 35 of his 362 videos have over 100,000 views, which is less than 10%. Another thing is that his upload schedule is pretty inconsistent, and he seems to upload very infrequently nowadays, which is a pretty big factor to consider regarding his relevance, or lack thereof, rather. Now his latest video was uploaded about a month ago on February 28th, 2019, and it's a tutorial about how to draw the new Pokemon Sword and Shield characters, Grookey, Sobble, and Scorbunny. Which to be fair is a pretty relevant video to make considering how popular these characters are to draw. And his style of video seems to be pretty much the same as they were back then, and his art style is the same too. But to be fair, that is probably part of Oliver's persona, Oliver Age 24. Oliver Age 24 explains why he's still 24 even to this day in this video right here titled Oliver Age 25 question mark. I won't ruin it for you, so you can go ahead and watch it yourself to find out why he's always 24 if you haven't seen it already. So because he essentially never ages from year to year, he also doesn't change from year to year, except for his upload schedule that is. Oliver has only uploaded 6 videos within the last year as of me making this, and has only uploaded 11 videos in 2018. But back a few years ago, he used to upload lots of videos, so I guess he must be a bit demotivated to make videos, or maybe he's busy outside of YouTube and doesn't have time or whatever. Okay, so after looking into it a little bit more, turns out he's still kinda active on his channel called Game Dev Corner, which is a gaming advice channel where he he kind of talks about like game dev advice, obviously, hence the name. So it looks like he's trying to shift his uh, YouTube career. I mean, he probably has a career out of YouTube at this point, like an actual job. But he's trying to like switch his YouTube personality to more towards gaming or game development related content instead of art content. And he also made a game apparently called Perfect Date, which is like a cat dating game or something like that. And it's on like Steam. So. Yeah, I guess he's trying to go the more gaming route now, and only I guess only time will tell whether this uh, will actually work or not. And he also has a bunch of other channels, like he tried to make a, a YouTube advice one called Creator Content. That's just a channel trying to like give people advice for YouTube, and he kind of abandoned that one. And he also had his gaming channel, All of Rage 24 Games, which again, he hasn't uploaded to in recent times. And he has a bunch more here. This is all the channels in his uh, channels tab on his channel, so... 
yeah, there you go. I think, I don't know if he owns them all, but it, it kind of looks like he does. But a lot of them are not active apart from, like, the game dev corner. So yeah, I guess he's kind of changed his focus from his main channel to other channels. And, uh, well, I guess it's because his channel's kind of dead, but I don't know. Only time will tell whether this will actually work or if he's just better off trying to revive this channel or whatever. But yeah, I, gu I guess that's, uh, that's it then. So, uh, yeah, let's return back to the main video. But to wrap things up, Oliver H24 was a relatively popular channel back in 2013 through 2015, and he had a creative and unique style of content and a concept that has not really been done before. But sadly, he ended up fading away in relevance. People gradually stopped watching, he gradually stopped uploading, and his channel has now essentially become a dead channel. But there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video analysis of Oliver H24's channel. Oh yeah, and by the way, I just want to make this clear, this is not a hate video. I should have probably said this at the beginning but this is not a hate video this is just an analysis video i actually think he's pretty clever channel i guess <laughs> but yeah um i hope you enjoyed i'll leave a link in the description or in the card or both to his channel and now to end off the video i'm going to attempt to draw my character i draw like a mullet in oliver age 24's art style so without further ado let's go um so uh yeah um uh, there we go this video is done i'm this is just going to be, I uh, guess, a loose commentary unscripted over the footage of me drawing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if he's actually going to see this video. I mean, he might. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of doubt it. I mean, Mashay never watched the video I made on him, and Dylan Hacker didn't watch that. I mean, they might have. They didn't comment, though. Usually they would. So, yeah. Okay, so update. At the time, I didn't know, but yeah, now, as of now, Dylan the Hacker actually did watch my video, and he commented on it twice, so that's cool, I guess. So there you go. We're get to see if someone I make a video on. I mean, I, I have had a couple people, like uh, Nerf Sniper, you know, from my TikTok review. He, I think he's, he watches my content, actually, so he might even be watching this right now, so if you're watching this, then hi, I guess. And uh, I guess the other guy I did a review on, forgot his name, I'm sorry. <laughs> The guy who made the uh, the first TikTok review, he he watched it too. So yeah, but other than that, I haven't really had too many others like respond. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, um, hmm. this was interesting. I mean, I I I think he ended up looking my character ended up looking a bit creepy. I didn't draw shoes on him for whatever reason because yeah. Also, my character doesn't have teeth either. Uh, so yeah, I just added them to make the style. But the eyes look kind of weird. No eyebrows either, because of the style again. But yeah, I think I think it ended up looking. I guess it looked pretty accurate. And I, oh yeah, I was, by the way, I can draw better than this. By the way, so yeah, and I'm using a tablet. I don't know if Oliver uses a tablet, but I, I'm using a tablet in this. Oh, and by the way, forgot to mention, I'm doing this in Fire Alpaca. This is in Fire Alpaca. So yeah, just just so you know. So yeah, um, hmm. I guess there you go. I hope you enjoy this and uh, hope I, I hope it was a good video and I didn't miss out on anything important. I probably might have. I don't know. But yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoy. We'll I'll try and keep up the videos and well, yeah. Uh, peace, I guess. Peach usually is what I say.